It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, August 18th. I'm James Spann. Wet, unsettled weather continues through midweek and tropical action. How about that? Let's go in there and check it out. Same setup this morning. We have this upper low that's located uh, west of the state, an upper trough. And with very high precipitable water values, that'll keep us wet at times and unsettled really for the rest of the week. Uh, the good news, no uh, severe weather expected. Uh, in fact, no watches or warnings for the eastern half of the nation. We do know some flash flood watches for parts of the Corn Belt. There is a risk of severe weather today. The standard slight risk from near Oklahoma City up through Kansas City and Des Moines with a big cold trough coming through the northern Plain states. That thing almost looks like a uh, an autumn-type trough. And then tomorrow, just a marginal risk from Little Rock and Memphis north up into Michigan. And the dynamic support for severe weather should stay well to the north of the state. We don't expect any problems here with that. And on day three, which is Thursday, just green, that means no organized severe weather expected. Average rain for the next five days, at least one inch. This is valid through Sunday morning, and I think some spots could see more than that. Now, let's talk tropics. Here we go. This is the uh, wave out in the Atlantic that's uh, between the coast of Africa and the uh, Leeward Islands. And the guys at NHC had this at a 70% chance of becoming a tropical storm or a depression within 48 hours. Uh, it looks pretty well organized, and that might be upgraded later today to a TD. We'll see. Spaghetti plot coming off the models. Good consistency. Uh, this is moving underneath a very dry air mass. It is just underneath that uh, Sahara dust layer. And uh, it looks like it should be pretty close to the Leeward Islands in about five days. And here's the ensembles, and it takes it out toward Puerto Rico and perhaps Hispaniola uh, early next week. And really, at that point, you get more questions than answers. Everybody wants to know, is this going to be a problem for the Gulf or the Atlantic coast? No, nobody knows that. Everybody can guess, but nobody knows. Uh, and at that point, it could do a lot of things. And understand, it could clearly dissipate here. Coming over the mountains of Hispaniola, uh, it could encounter shear. There's a lot of hurdles for this thing. So, uh, again, it's you know, nothing to worry about, just something to watch. The intensity guidance, it does ramp it up. Many of the models do ramp it up to hurricane strength in uh, 60 hours. Uh, in uh, seems like kind of peaks, then it starts to back off a little bit. So we'll just watch that. Again, uh, gut feeling here says it does not affect our part of the world. But again, it's way too early to call. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock. Look at that cold trough digging down through the northern Plain states. It's going to bring some very refreshing autumn-like air down behind it. Surface low, 1,000 millibars over Kansas. And again, that could set the stage for some uh, strong to severe storms just south and east of that. But for us, we just stay in the soupy air, cloudy with occasional showers and storms. Here's the uh, radar we should point out to start the day. This was at 5.04 this morning. You can see the radar really lighting up. Here's the high-res R. This is valid today at 4 o'clock. And uh, again, showers and storms about. The radar is not going to look exactly like that. And as we often say here in a pattern like this, it's not going to rain the whole day. There'll be some good breaks. The sun might peak out at times. But a shower or storm could come at any time. So be ready for that. Tomorrow, look at the surface load, 998 millibars over the UP of Michigan with a trailing front. And again, for us, same deal. Moist air, weak upper, low west of the state. We'll see a lot of showers and storms about. Thursday, the surface front gets down to about Memphis, and it's going to stop. It's not going to make it through here. Still, good chance of showers and storms. And Friday, stall front north of us, unsettled weather, Occasionally cloudy, scattered to numerous showers and storms. Highs all week in the 80s. By the way, yesterday, Birmingham's high was only 79, within three of the record low maximum for August 17th. How about that? Of course, because of the clouds and rain. What about the weekend, you ask? Well, look at this. Another deep trough is coming into the northern states. But for us, the heights are starting to come up a little bit. So uh, maybe we'll approach 90 with some sun, but still we're going to see scattered showers and storms around. And the same thing on Sunday. And we note another front approaching from the west. And this is Monday. And by golly, this run pushes the front down into Alabama. Maybe a shower or storm with that. And this is Tuesday of next week. Got a 594 
heat ridge well to the west, but down at the surface, it brings in a 1022 millibar high into Alabama, which would suggest dry continental air. And if that happens to be correct, uh, we might catch a morning with a low in the upper 50s. I'm not saying it is, you know, confidence, and that's always low in August, but not out of the question. Here's the end of the forecast, August 27th. Ooh, the 594 heat is rebuilding. Come on now, you all know, we all know, we can have some very hot weather into September here, and that looks pretty hot if that's right, and mostly dry. Temperatures coming off the ensembles. Highs in the 80s this week. It kind of brings us back up in the low 90s Saturday and Sunday. But look at Tuesday of next week, a week from today. It drops the low to 59 and the high to 84 with the possibility of continental air. We'll see if that can happen. And again, the anomalies, August 25th through the 31st. These have been showing above average all summer. This has not done a good job of picking up days like yesterday when the high was only 79. I think temperature should be pretty close to average, maybe a little above out there at the end of the month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Well, I have notes in the blog. I'll be traveling today, so more than likely just one video. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. If you can, catch Megan Thomas on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.